we are currently in the process of starting our fourth class. It is great to have you here with us at this moment. We are here beginning our fourth class with the topic of how to make more money and have controlled finances. So a warm welcome to our fourth intensive class on biblical finance. We are thrilled to have you here. Enjoy your time with us. Yesterday, we started the first stage of this intensive, unprecedented and free course. Currently, we're in our fourth exclusive class just for you as you warm up for the upcoming second stage of the program. It's regarding the intensive hands-on workshop, which will be an event within this event and is scheduled to start on the upcoming Thursday. Yeah, yeah, you must be completely clear about our plans, specifically when we are going to commence our second stage, which is scheduled for next Thursday. We are going to commence the following Thursday, the second stage of the intensive program, which we refer to as I Control My Finances Christian Week. Christian Week, I manage my finances in order to ensure you don't miss anything as it is of utmost importance for your transformation. It is crucial to join the WhatsApp group for the intensive and make sure to subscribe to the link. Yes, we are providing the link to the event of the Christian week. I control my finances below for your convenience. And you can also participate in the WhatsApp group. All right. And you can invite numerous other individuals as well with your exclusive link, cristalrico.com invitation bar, thereby enabling you to share this intensive and free course with the people around you and make it accessible to a wider audience. And today in class three, I'll show you the biblical importance of having dreams. We saw that God has plans for your life, but you have to be intentional to fulfill them. It is very important. And for that, you will need an important tool, which is money. Yes, of course. Yes. Money is a tool to fulfill God's purposes on earth. This is the belief we consistently emphasize in our affluent Christian ministry organization. Keep this in your mind at this moment. Therefore, if you have not watched lesson three yet, it is only going to be accessible on my YouTube channel for a limited number of hours. This course is equipped with a start date and an end date. It is crucial that you do not misplace it. So after coming out of this class, I highly recommend that you go and check it out if you haven't already. The classes from yesterday, specifically class number three that we discussed. The truth is that many Christians don't understand the purpose of money in their lives and think it's a sin to worry about taking care of the money that God puts in their hands. However, they are unaware that we were not only given the directive to care for those seeds, but also to ensure their multiplication and proliferation. Yes or yes, now you know. And now in this fourth class, I'll teach you what you need to do to make more money and have your finances under control. Yum, it is going to be a very, very special class. Therefore, please stick around until the end. And to learn how to make more money, the first thing you gotta think about is, look, what do those who have a lot of money think? Yeah, and what is the reason behind the rich getting richer and richer? Have you ever pondered about this? Yes or no? Write in the chat box here, yes or no? Yes. And look, are these thoughts of the wealthy biblical? Have you ever wondered about this? Yes or no? And that has a lot to do with what we're gonna talk about in today's class, where I'm gonna show you how to have more money, thrive, and truly generate wealth following biblical principles, regardless of how much you earn, regardless of whether you have a job or not. In the intensive, you'll unlock yourself to maximize your earning potential and make more money. Remember that during this first stage of the intensive, classes are held every day at two different times. So pay attention to this because the classes are different. And in this free course, I bring you a complete content so that you start changing your way of thinking and already start having a real change in your finances. And if you want to enhance your financial life, if you desire to experience the promises that God has for your life, if you wish to possess additional funds and actualize your dreams, you will need to know how, how to manage your finances and keep them under control according to the Bible. So contact me in the chat. Who is interested in learning how to manage their finances and keep them in check according to the teachings of the Bible? Get in touch with me in the chat. I have a desire 
Yeah, I have a desire. Therefore, you will need to modify your mindset and commence executing things in a different manner than before. How did the case of my student, Mary Lay, go? Yeah, look, this student was committed to learning and putting into practice everything we are showing here. In this place, she witnessed incredible transformations in her life that numerous individuals couldn't even fathom would be achievable. Check out Marilei's case to build your financial life. I'm Marilei. I met Dr. Taylor and Rich Christian on social media. Initially, I didn't want to take the course due to my prejudice against Christians being rich, which I later found was unrelated to my imagined ideas. Since my financial situation was bad and it was affecting other areas of my life, I took the course as a last resort. But from the outset, I began noticing changes in my financial situation thanks to the banking secrets taught by the doctor. Paid off 28 installment CDC loan, settled with lower interest rate thanks to teachings in course. I got out of the overdraft, which I had been in the red for many years and couldn't get out. I paid off some installments from the consigned loan that I have with several installments. I'm managing to pay in a different way, in a way that is turning out to be much cheaper for me and that is helping me a lot. I managed to put a project that I had for many years as well, which I couldn't put into action, it was just on paper, which is a project to create children's clothing. I even have orders already, and this has also helped me as extra income, which is also something taught in the course, which is a very good thing that I learned as well. I learned how to invest, which I didn't know I could do. I used to think investments were for wealthy people. I learned I can do it. For me, investment was just savings. Now I've learned that there are many other ways to invest and that I can do it for sure. Actually, I've made two investments, so I can make one more. All things I learned in the course, things I never imagined existed, that could be for me and are for me. Improving my finances and consequently other areas of my life. Grateful to God, Dr. Taylor, and the rich Christian for all of this progress. Because if it weren't for this course, I would have never gotten out of the mess I was in with my finances. And thanks to this course, I made it. I'm achieving many financial wins, not just in that area. Since starting the course, I've also seen changes in my spiritual realm, undergoing a significant transformation. And thank God I grew up so affluent because of it. Because this course is not merely a finance course. He's way more than that. He's a course that teaches us how to really live, living what God wants for us. And that's why I'm grateful. It's truly incredible, isn't it? The bank not only refunded her money, but also paid off a loan, got out of overdrafts, increased her income, started investing, and made improvements in other areas of her life. This has had a profound impact on her financial situation as a whole. It's amazing how in such a short time, yeah, just a few days, he was able to have his finances under control according to the Bible. Isn't that something unbelievable? And that has a lot to do with having more money and has a lot to do with what happens when we set out to be good managers, good stewards of the resources that God puts in our hands. Yes, affirmative or affirmative. So you might be thinking at this moment, oh, but doctor, I do not have any debts. So I am good. I am a good guy because I do not have any debts. But even if you do not have any debts, I am willing to bet that you probably do not have your finances under control in accordance with the teachings of the Bible, the religious text that guides many believers. Yeah, yeah, many individuals believe that simply due to the absence of debts, their financial situation is well managed. However, it's crucial to note that this isn't what the Bible says. It's not just that, there's more to it. To have your finances under control according to the Bible, you need more. And I'm going to show you in this intensive class how to find out if you have your finances under control according to the Bible. Affirmative or negative? Yes. Okay, I will demonstrate whether your finances align with the teachings of the Bible or not. Do you recall what we discussed in the previous class? If you only exist to cover expenses, even without any financial obligations, you are leading a life akin to that of a slave, devoid of any leftover funds. They are slaves who work simply to eat and survive. And in this final class, I have shown you a collection of testimonials from individuals who have changed themselves and begun earning additional income. I know this takes your faith. It takes a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot, and it shows you that it's possible. However, I must inform you that it will not be possible for you to achieve this if you do not make a commitment, if you do not fully commit to the process and stay dedicated throughout. Look, you must fully commit to the process. Where can we find the individuals who are highly dedicated and super committed? Feel free to reach out to me in the chat, yeah.
Hashtag super committed, super committed. I'm always available to chat. Look, I am searching here for the individuals who are truly going to transform their financial lives. The first sessions of this course are truly refreshing for the mind. In the previous three classes, I worked with you on some of the biblical foundations so that you can have more money. And in this new moment of today's intensive, I will begin unlocking you so that you can generate more money. Unfortunately, we've been programmed since childhood at five or seven years old to think like poor people and not like prosperous ones, yes. If I were you, I wouldn't miss any class because it will be a continuation of all the classes, okay? So make sure to attend every class. And for those who participate in the event until the end, I will only send it in the intensive WhatsApp groups. To join the WhatsApp group for the intensive, the link is in the description of this video. The step-by-step -step process for you to obtain your complimentary participation certificate. Even upon completion of the class, you will possess an attendance list for this fourth class. It is crucial to complete the attendance list. And what is the significance of having your name on the attendance list for you? It is crucial for all of you to attend every class. By doing so, you will qualify for a $200 transfer, which I will discuss in more detail towards the conclusion of the event. And in order to have access to your free certificate of participation, completion of the course, you must have your name on the attendance list and remain in the WhatsApp group. If you exit the WhatsApp group, you will lose the certificate, okay? And I'm certain that all all the super committed individuals who are here watching, participating, and inviting more people to the event will be able to obtain their certificate for free of charge. Because the highly committed individuals are those who not only desire to transform and change their financial life, but also aspire to be channels of blessing in the lives of others. And what should those highly committed individuals do? Bring more individuals so they can learn alongside you. If they are individuals, you can discuss the content that we have available in this location. And let's not forget that each class in this initial stage has a class phrase and a keyword, just like a piece of a puzzle that is essential for completing the whole picture. So don't miss this golden chance and make sure you follow each and every piece without any cost to successfully put together this puzzle and enhance your financial situation, okay? And at this moment, are we making progress? Yes or yes, let us proceed ahead now. I desire to prepare you for the imminent transformation, which is currently unfolding, an outburst of content. Have you ever come across the term rat races? Yes, I'm referring to the concept widely known as the rat race. Have you heard the word? I might sound strange, but that is how it is. Please explain it to me. If you desire to get ahead and increase your earnings, you must learn what this is, and most importantly, how to extricate yourself from it. Yes, the rat race is a widely recognized term for individuals who specialize in the field of personal finance. You will obtain knowledge here. Kindly stay tuned until the end of this instructional session, okay? Look, a large number of individuals frequently ask me this, doctor. I even generate a substantial amount of money, but I never have any funds left over at the end of the day. Others say I don't have extra money because I earn very little. And I begin by informing you that ultimately, it is inconsequential the amount of money you make. In today's class, I will teach you what you need to do in order to thrive and generate real wealth. No matter what you earn, yeah, yeah, pay attention now. If you have the financial education of an average citizen, the truth is that you don't think like a rich person and that prevents you from prospering. Once you grasp the logic behind wealth generation, everything begins to fall into place and make sense. It is as if the blindfolds on your eyes have been removed, revealing a completely new reality. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Yeah, look, untie your eyes. Yes, indeed. So my prayer at this very moment is that you open your eyes wide to the valuable information I am about to convey to you right here and now. Pay attention. What is the logic behind enrichment in order to have more money? Today, I want to know, do you think like the majority of people? 
I earned a decent income, but I am unable to afford anything. Or do you think you are unable to earn sufficient money because you have a low paying job? Many people often ask me, what do I need to do to have more money? The truth is that all of this is related to the logic of enriching oneself and accumulating wealth. I am going to discuss it here with you at this moment, all right? If you are someone who is unable to earn any money, the reality is that the Bible instructs us about this in a harsh manner. And I will inform you in a short while. However, I desire for the purpose of your learning to narrate a very brief story at this point in time. It's content, right? Look, there was this person who was born into a lower middle class family. His parents were educators and they lived in debt and in the red. This individual had witnessed their parents struggle multiple times to meet the financial obligations for the household. This individual did not want to go through this any longer and inquired of their parents, father, mother, how can I earn money when I become an adult? His parents urged him to study hard, maximize his efforts, attend a reputable university, and secure a well-paying job for a successful future, and retire with a nice salary. Look, the job market is very competitive, and only those who are prepared and have studied a lot can get good jobs. I informed your father, and when you have a good job, you'll be able to buy your own car, your own house, start a family, and experience happiness. So, what did this individual do? This individual firmly believed in all of that, studied extensively, always achieved good grades, and successfully completed two college degrees. Pursued law, economics, obtained good jobs, completed an internship at the university, and earned a total of $150. Then he obtained an improved job until he commenced earning $1,000. He purchased a vehicle, leased a residence, and ultimately ran out of money. Then he initiated the process of borrowing money to cover the hole and ensure the maintenance of his standard of living. After all of that, I was confident that I would quickly secure a superior job and that everything would turn out well. So then he thought he was making too little, so he studied more and dedicated himself to it, and he got a job where he made over $5K. He changed cars, he changed to a better house, but he still didn't have any money. He had to take out more loans to pay off the previous ones, and the interest rates multiplied. Until one day she found herself enslaved by her debts and the lifestyle she had created for herself. He glanced back and observed that he had spent years of his life merely to settle financial obligations. Have you ever come across a narrative resembling this? Affirmative. Who has ever seen anything like this? Write it in the comments for me. Yeah? Yeah? Have I seen it? Then I'm going to tell you now. So it turns out it's a great summary of my life story. Yeah, me to the campus. But why am I telling you this? Let me tell you that everything you've learned about finances since you were a kid is wrong. Your parents, educators, or the people who have an impact, it is highly probable that they wanted to help you by providing you with valuable advice regarding finances. But those individuals were offering guidance on a matter they did not possess specific knowledge about. Even if it was out of love for you, but why? Why have not these people been educated to handle money? Look at the example of them, what they were doing with their own lives. Your pastor, your priest, or spiritual leader also wants to help you by giving you good advice, but they have also been specifically trained in the field of finances. No. That is the reason why we have numerous students and mentors who are spiritual leaders, such as Ronil, a pastor who also works as a developer, contributing to our diverse community. Let's examine your case so you can understand it better. Check out Ronil's testimony. Hi, I'm Jonil, a pastor and author, but I also work as a goldsmith. I met Is through Facebook. He is from Intense Visau. Dr. Taylor introduced us, and she brought a few weeks of teaching, so I decided to sign up. But it wasn't easy because the conditioned mind was saying, will it pay off? Does it really work? Does it bring results? Anyway, I overcame my conditioned mind, the doubts, I signed up, and already in the first days, following the step by step that doctor, Thalia teaches, I cut my life by additionally, I acquired knowledge about the undisclosed workings of financial institutions and received that I was aware I did not possess. Surprisingly, it materialized in my possession and proved to be immensely beneficial throughout the detailed guidance provided by Dr. Thaler. 
I also learned how to earn with a credit card. We think it's not just about spending, and I'm already applying that learning, making money with a credit card. I also learned how to make my investment portfolio, something I've always wanted but didn't know how. And I learned from Dr. Taylor and Rodrigo Stocco how to make my investment portfolio. I'm already investing, thank God. And also follow this mentoring. As a wife, we are doing extra life, making pie, savory, she makes cake, anyway. There was a transformation, a reduction in spending. Money that we did not have to receive and did not even know we had, but we obtained it. All adds up, like blindfold off, like Dr. Talia says, once seen, can't unsee. I want to leave this verse from Proverbs 9 and 9. From instruction to the wise, he will become even wiser. Fair teaching, it will enhance understanding. Transformation unveiled, vision opened up. May God bless Dr. Talia, Rodrigo team. May God bless in Jesus' name. Look, Ronil's testimony is really incredible. Ronil, a pastor, got $1,100 from the bank, learned to make money with credit cards, and now invests. However, why am I talking about this particular topic? What was the reason for his delay in taking action? Why did he lack knowledge of how to execute it? I was unprepared for that particular circumstance. And I showed you Ronil's testimony, who is a pastor. And I also told you my story so you understand that our parents and spiritual leaders want us to be well. But many times they are not prepared to guide us in the financial area. What's going on? Look, I'm going to talk to you now. And this is really important. It's really rich content. Who wants to know? Who wants to know what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Write in the chat now. Yeah, I'm down for it. Yeah, I want to know. Yeah, listen, something really important. It's class content. Every individual ultimately ends up discussing their own personal experience during the class. And ultimately what occurs is that by heeding guidance from individuals who are not adequately equipped to direct us in financial matters, we ultimately behave foolishly, relentlessly pursuing things and toiling diligently solely to meet our financial obligations. What is it like how they do it? And in the previous classes, I already showed you that there is no difference between a slave and someone who just lives to pay the bills. I also demonstrated that this is biblical. I am aware it may sound harsh, yes, this, but if I have uttered foolish statements at this moment, yes, that is correct, and there is no reason to be afraid, no, it is not me who is expressing this. If it is in the Bible, if you cannot make any money, you are a fool. That is what the Bible says, it is not me. Please check it out, Proverbs 21 verse 20. Now I am going to discuss this a sensible man at present. He consistently has money to spare and an abundant amount of food and a substantial sum of money in his household. The foolish person exhausts all of his money without delay as soon as he acquires it. The fool, yes, an individual who spends all of their money is an individual who does not have any additional funds. And according to the Bible, someone who doesn't have anything extra is a fool, a fool. So please forgive me, but as your mentor, I have to tell you the truth now. Is that the right thing to do? On certain occasions, the truth is not comfortable. It is not pleasant to hear, isn't it? However, it is the truth that sets you free. Is it a yes or a yes? Are you interested in knowing the truth so that you can experience true freedom? It is not without reason that the Bible states, you will have knowledge of the truth and the truth will liberate you. Is this really strong? Yes or yes? Right in the chat, okay? He is strong. He is strong. I am feeling this right now. I desire to be free. I desire to have financial peace, you know? He is present and I experience a sense of peace. But listen, I am going to reiterate what I just told you so that it is very clear to you, okay? Because I'm your mentor now, whether you like it or not. If you don't save money, according to the Bible, you're a fool. You're a fool, right? And here we already have a clue as to why a lot of individuals who have faith in the word have not prospered. Here we already have a clue as to why a lot of individuals who earn a good income have no money for anything. Why? Because as per the Bible, if these individuals are foolish, this person is considered a fool because they spend all of their received resources without restraint. Not to mention those people who spend more than they earn which is a terrible situation and end up in debt, which is even worse. Look, the first phrase I wanna teach you here is the following. Not only the first one, I've already talked about a few more. Only you can control your expenses. 
only you. It is your responsibility, dude. However, pay attention. This is not yet the phrase of the day, correct? I will provide it to you shortly, all right? I am going to give you the key of the day. Listen, the phrase is only you can control your expenses, all right? God will not be managing your expenses for you, understand? It's up to you to be responsible. Number, he will provide you with the wisdom to manage. He is the butler who belongs to him and serves him faithfully. Okay, yes or yes, this is powerful. That content is powerful. And this is your responsibility. It is your purpose. So take a really important class today. One of the answers is that it's not about how much you earn, but about how much you spend. Change your mindset, change your mindset, you know? You must make this mindset change like a good steward. You shouldn't just look at how much I earn. Ah, No, look, the first step here is how much you spend. We've discussed in other classes the importance of being a good steward of God's gifts, right? You are a child of God. You possess inheritance and identity in him. And God fulfills his role. He bestows upon you seeds. However, do you know what the fool, the fool does? They spend everything that God gave you. And I am aware of the seed that was going to be planted. However, he cuts down the trees and consumes them. It is a truly awful situation that I have witnessed. Behold, the seed was not intended for ingestion, no. And there exist a multitude of individuals who are partaking in the consumption of the seeds. The seed was generated with the intention of increasing in number. Do you recall that purchase you made and subsequently regretted? And then what does the silly Unetio do? He continues wasting the seeds and continues praying for God to send him provisions to pay his bills. However, for the love of God, please show mercy. What are you all doing with your seeds? Observe how individuals perish due to a lack of knowledge. Knowledge possesses great power. The reality is that individuals work for the money that will sustain their lifestyle throughout this month. Are you not thinking ahead? Do you not adhere to the biblical and financial principles that are multiple in nature? Is it not just tithing? Do you need to possess the I deserve it attitude? Yeah, I genuinely like the I deserve it mentality, but I deserve it is not the sole principle I must adhere to. I deserve it. It's about spending a portion of the money on what makes you feel good. Yeah. But you also need to multiply the seeds that God puts in your hands. And how do you make that division precise? I will teach it in the second stage of this event, which will be the Christian week I control my finances, which is hands-on, yes, with exercise, support material, closed community. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's a link down here so you can participate in the Christian week I control my finances, okay? And the individuals who do not abide by the principles because they are not mature enough to handle money, spend all of the money they receive, become slaves to their financial obligations, and end up as eternal bill payers. And they will always be obligated to put in more effort in order to sustain that standard of living. By the way, check out something very important here. This is an additional positive consequence that arises from not having our true identity firmly rooted in Christ. We had a discussion about identity in the previous class, and you must already be realizing how the learnings from this class are interconnected, right? Because if you do not have your identity in Christ, you are always going to want what the other person has, correct? And when we do not really know who we are in Christ, correct? We desire to possess many things because our neighbor possesses them as well. So we began to have a disagreement about who possesses a greater amount and we cannot afford to be defeated by him. Who possesses the finest bag, the finest shoes, the finest car? What is the purpose of that? Maintaining this situation is costly, extremely costly. And it is not the truth. It is not real. Individuals who are unaware of their genuine identity squander a substantial amount of money in the pursuit of self-validation. They are in need of acceptance in some manner. Look, and that is a substantial trap that should not be underestimated. Yeah, it's really awful. They make you spend everything or even more than you earn just to maintain something that doesn't actually exist. It's such a frustrating situation. However, this is a more complex matter that ought to be the topic of another class within our regular schedule. 
Let's talk about many other biblical principles here, but we'll still talk about identity in other classes, okay? More about that. What I want you to understand here is that there is a pattern that our grandparents learned, you know? What transpired to our parents and what we received from them, which is the precise pattern of what is commonly known as the rat race in modern society. Why explain how it works? I want you to imagine it with me now, okay? Yes or yes, let's go, let's go. Marina, a tiny mouse scurrying on those wheels, right? And he never leaves the place. He always runs, gets tired a lot, but he never gives up the place, no matter how exhausted he is. Do you occasionally experience it like that in your finances? Regrettably, individuals are indoctrinated to live in this manner in their financial life. Do you never leave the place? This is still the norm that is taught in our schools and has led thousands of people to live a life of financial suffering, enduring immense hardship and facing insurmountable challenges that seem impossible to overcome. Pay one bill, then another, then another, receive, pay, receive, pay, receive, pay, receive, pay. And what is that roster in which he has indoctrinated individuals? It has everything to do with my narrative. It's a never ending cycle, you see. Let me explain myself better now. Study hard, get a good job, get the life you deserve, buy your car, buy your house, get a better job to be able to pay the mortgage for your car and your house and ensure a stable financial future. Study more, take your kids to good schools because education isn't everything. Get a better job so you can pay for everything and then talk about it to your kids. And that becomes a cycle that only makes you a slave to your own standard of living because your standard of living keeps increasing. And individuals purchase a vehicle, but they do not recall that the vehicle will withdraw funds from their wallet on a monthly basis. And that is to cover the taxes, the insurance, the fuel, and all other expenses. They will have to work harder and harder. People buy a house, but they don't remember that this house will generate loan interest payments, taxes, maintenance expenses, condo fees, and much more. So the way our parents were brought up and a significant portion of the world was brought up is to exert more and more effort, earn a higher income, and utilize that income to purchase items. And those things generate monthly expenses and you'll be a slave to those things for the rest of your life. However, this is an accurate thought from the impoverished. See here, see here, see here. We're at the top of our class. Look, so here I am answering a question that many people ask me. Doctor, why do you earn a good income but never have any physical currency? And please document it. It is a truly significant phrase because you are performing precisely what I instructed you to do. You are purchasing items that generate additional expenses for you. Consider this with me. What do you purchase? Is it your car, your home? You know that people with limited funds buy assets that generate expenses? Things that are gonna extract money from your pocket. Look, clarify it to me. Passivo is stuff that you purchase and that removes money from your pocket on a monthly basis. So your car is a liability because it takes money out of your pocket every month. Within that concept, the house you live in is a liability because it takes money out of your pocket every month too. Your beach house is a liability because it also takes money out of your pocket every day. So the financially disadvantaged spend all their money on liabilities thinking they are making good investments. When you do not let yourself be deceived by the rest of the bank, purchasing a capitalization bond, a life insurance policy with additional benefits, which is essentially a disguised lottery, or a private pension plan with exorbitant management fees that will only result in further financial losses, or even when you borrow money for a hundred months without realizing that you have just entered a complete financial prison that will strip away your freedom. Where will you decide to allocate the money that God entrusts to you? The choice is yours, and it is crucial to make informed decisions to safeguard your financial well-being and future security. Because at this point in time, the money will not even pass through your hands, and you will not have the freedom to manage it if you handle it or you pay, or you have debts. And that is precisely how you become a slave to these liabilities and your situation worsens. Do you understand it completely? Yes, 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 hit me up in the chat. Yeah, I'm here, I understand. Hit me up in the chat.
Now we're walking towards the end, but check this out. It's awesome. And that's how you become a slave to things. This is terrible that you personally purchased. Does this make sense to you? This is slavery. Look, I've lost count of how many people I've advised who have gotten into debt because they bought their own house or a plot of land to build on or a home renovation. It is not a bad idea to purchase it, no. However, a highly significant observation exists here. The manner in which you express it may be incorrect. Those individuals who become engaged, they assume the responsibility in an incorrect manner and at an inappropriate moment. As it says in Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything under the sun. It's in the Bible. The timing is very important, but some people don't think about the right moment. And now they have to earn even more dollars in order to keep it, earn more money just to maintain it. But doctor, I always believed it was right. However, what is right? Look, how can I make more money and have my finances under control? The reality is that the affluent individuals do. The individuals who are affluent do not live in this constant pursuit of success, no. The fact is that buying liabilities is not a priority for the rich. Check out what your priorities are. Real affluent individuals do the exact opposite of what individuals who are poor do. That is why they are affluent. Yes, this does not mean you do not have to study or work hard. Yeah, definitely. It is the complete opposite. You have to do this. If you truly want to make more money, you will probably have to study a lot more than someone who is going in the opposite direction. Only you will study various things. Look here. The wealthy man desires to study in order to acquire knowledge on how to generate additional income. Invest in financial education. They invest in methods to make more money, to think and act like a rich person. Forget almost everything you've heard about money since your childhood years. Yeah, that's you. And start studying today what will lead you to this goal, this financial goal you have today. Do you want to write down what you need to study to obtain it? Yeah, I'm going to write you down now. What for? What do you have to study up on to increase your earnings? Two things. Firstly, financial education. And secondly, entrepreneurial initiative. Always. Because God will only place more money in your hands if you are fully prepared to receive it. And in practice, what occurs? You need to excel at purchasing assets and avoiding liabilities. But doctor, I have already understood what passive means and that those are things I buy and that take money out of my pocket from now on. However, what does active mean? I will explain it to you. An asset is any purchase that generates income for you from now on, putting money in your pocket. If you possess a house that is rented to an individual and that individual remunerates you rent, that house is considered an asset because it is currently generating income for you. The house you reside in is a liability since it withdraws money from your pocket through property tax and monthly maintenance expenses. However, if you lease it to another individual and that individual pays you rent, it transforms into an asset because it now generates income for you. But doctor, what else is considered an asset? Look, here are a few more examples. Stocks that provide dividends, government bonds that offer interest payments, companies that generate profits for you, anything you possess that can be rented out and generate income. Do you understand? Look, when I invest in a business, I allocate the funds right at that moment, but I do it with the expectation that it will generate profits for me from this point onward and moving ahead in time. Yeah, observe the change that has occurred. And if that truly occurs, it is a positive. So if you want to think like a wealthy person, you have to have objectives of purchasing assets and not liabilities. So if you want to thrive and have your finances under control, who wouldn't want that? Hit me up in the chat. I want. Write me. I want. I'm watching the class today. It's very intense content, I know, but it's very important that you have your change. Send me a message in the chat. I desire it. And let's proceed. Let's move forward. I desire it. Yes, absolutely affirmative indeed. And it is through assets that we exponentially grow our wealth. Yes, by contrast with liabilities, we merely squander and expend increasingly larger amounts of money. If you're going to buy something and that something is going to put money in your pocket, 
From now on, it's a pocket, so your focus will be on buying more assets. So it is essential to understand that the rich also participate in this behavior. The wealthy individuals do indeed buy liabilities, of course they do, but that is not their topmost priority. The top focus of wealthy individuals is to acquire assets that generate additional income, enabling them to purchase liabilities subsequently. In a short span of time, I will articulate the phrase from our fourth class that is entirely pertinent to this lesson, and also furnish the keyword so that you can obtain your complimentary certificate upon completion of the course. And please keep in mind that this intensive biblical finance is just a warm-up a preparation for a bigger event, which is the Christian week I control my finances, that will be hands-on and provide practical guidance for managing money. And if you haven't done your free registration yet, do it now at the link in the description of this video. Yes, there at the Christian week, I will show you the path of the stones. Let's get down to business, step-by-step -step practice so that you have your finances under control in 60 days. You have the chance to make money and invest to fulfill God's dreams for your life. It's free, but you'll need to sign up, okay? Don't miss out on this opportunity. And look, the distinction between the fake wealthy and the genuine wealthy is that the fake wealthy consistently put in more effort to earn a slightly higher amount than what they ultimately receive at the conclusion of each month. The real rich first acquire assets everything that generates income, and only buy goods that generate expenses after having conquered enough assets to pay for them. And if you have never done it, do not worry. Yes, I am aware that you might be feeling really worried at this moment in time. But Doc, I don't possess any assets. Look, the word of God states that his mercies are renewed each morning without fail, without exception, without hesitation. Indeed, it is always the perfect time to enhance our reality. We are grateful that your eyes have opened today in this very place. I informed you that you would experience something new in your financial life, and I'm already starting your makeover process. The change in mindset, what we cannot do is surrender to the circumstances and live in constant motion so that we will not be engulfed by the ever-growing snowball of bills that we have to pay in order to avoid being overwhelmed. No, it took me a while to realize the mess I was in when I decided to change my reality. The process of altering my perception was more challenging than I had anticipated. You also have the ability to do it. I used to reside in a rat race as well. Yes, it was me. Yes, it was me. I also used to purchase items that caused me to spend more money. Not myself. That was my main focus. We can learn from other people's mistakes. It's way better. And God raised me up in this job to teach you how to live the plans they have for you in your financial life. Who will fulfill God's plans in your finances? Right, I want. Start revealing the details in chat. I desire peace and I possess peace. My desire is to have financial peace and my current state is that I possess peace. Commence declaring this. Commences with, I am present, I am present, because God raised me to be present today, teaching you this valuable lesson. This is the response from God to your prayers. There are numerous individuals who do not give heed to this, and you are giving heed today because it is God's response to your prayers. But you have to be extremely committed. You have got to do your part so that God can do his, and he never fails. Never, ever, under any circumstances. So, are we going to exit the rat race? Let's depart. The rat race compels individuals to continuously pursue money throughout their entire life. As per Warren Buffett, if you are unable to find a way to make money while you sleep, you will have to work until the point of your death. That is the way only financial education and taking risks in the business world can assist individuals in breaking free from the rat race and steering them towards success and the attainment of financial independence. Look, it is conceivable that the sole way to move ahead is to graduate, acquire a better job, attain salary increases, and ultimately retire, earning 50% of the income you previously made. Yeah, I have to inform you about this. I do not think so. And if you have already retired, please remember what I have just told you. It is never too late to begin again. Have you ever heard of the fast food restaurant chain known as KFC? She initiated this business after retiring and was earning a meager amount of money. 
Currently, it is a mega-rich multinational corporation with multiple restaurants spread across the world. Can you imagine if I had believed that just because I'm retired, I couldn't do anything else? Yeah, go ahead and create it. So make sure to write down everything I'm about to tell you. Our financial success is directly linked to the actions we take and the seeds we sow for the future. Did it all start at a retired restaurant chain? Can you start today to change your financial life? Of course, yes. So we got to be careful with what we choose so we don't end up living in the rat race. I'll finish here by saying that in order for you to be successful, you have to understand that it's all up to you. You're responsible for it. Yes, the aspect concerning God, he has already accomplished it and there is no further action required on his part. Naturally, there is still your task to complete. Additionally, financial education is of utmost importance at this juncture. About 50% of the entire population, for example, have debts. A lot more people don't have extra money, and a lot more people don't have their finances under control. Eight out of 10 Christians have debts. More than 96% of Christians can't manage to have any money left over or invest, not even a little bit of money. At the end of the month, they are fools, idiots. As the Bible says, it is not me who is talking, no. If you believe in the Bible, it is the Bible that states this. Therefore, you have to believe in this as well. If the Bible works for me, it works for you as well. The Bible works in your country, in the place where you reside, yes. So you have to believe and do what is written in it. We're talking about people who can make a ton of money with their gifts and talents if they have good financial education, but end up spending everything they receive or even more than they receive. So here goes the phrase of the class. Look, look, we are almost there. Yeah, yeah. Coming to the conclusion, what is it? The main idea is to purchase assets first and then liabilities. It is your priority. And why? Because assets multiply the seeds and finance the purpose. The indolent individuals waste the seeds and undermine the purpose. I am on the verge of releasing the keyword and the list of attendants. Is that acceptable to you? But now I desire to take on a challenge, a dare, exclusively for the highly committed who stayed with me until the end of this class. Where are the extremely dedicated ones? Please write in the chat, Rastegez super committed, Rastegez super committed. Where can they be located? Yes. And yes, if you desire to write, I, I am, there is no problem. Yes, it is marvelous that you are here having made it all the way to the end of our class. Look, one very important thing, if you didn't know what I've shared today, I'm sure that only the teachings from this class can change your financial reality forever. I would like to challenge you to create stories on your Instagram account if you have one, okay? And in those stories, you write today's phrase, buy assets and then liabilities. And you can do with all the phrases of the day of our intensive biblical finance, okay? And ultimately, the key word for today is assets, okay? On the go. Remember, assets have the ability to multiply the seeds and significantly enhance the amount of funding. The lazy waste the seeds and destroy the purposes. There are a lot of people whose financial lives are enslaved. They are slaves to mammon and they need to hear this. And in order to help free more people from slavery, you as a Christian can share your invitation link and bless others. Is that okay? Team, you can release the attendance list for fourth class. He's here in the chat and he's also in the, however, occasionally in the video description. I am unsure if it is present there, but it can be found in the chat. In the comments, you will need to click on the link and you will be required to enter the keyword which is Activo in the provided space. Do you understand? Remember, it's crucial for your name to be on the attendance list to receive your free course completion certificate at the end. And you also need to be in the WhatsApp group for the intensive until the very end, okay? And also about the raffle we will have at the end, which I will talk about in the final of our intensive and I will talk about in a special video, okay? And tomorrow we will have another class that cannot be missed. Let us discuss the mission of getting out of debt and never returning to it again. If you have debts or if you do not want to have debts, you have got to come back to our class, okay? And at night, I'm going to tell you how the mind of the thriving Christian works. You're going to discover things that you don't even know you don't know. 
Imagine you don't even know that you are unaware. And this, without a doubt, is definitely going to transform your financial life. I believe, I'm sure about this. It's going to be a mental cleanse to unblock yourself, to have more money. Who is fond of a cleanup? Yes, I genuinely like a cleanup as it helps in having finances under control, organization and obedience in place. And starting today, also the intensive, you can speak with our classes. It will be a continuation. Yes, a new beginning. We will start on Thursday. Yes, with the week of Christianity. Next Thursday during Christian week, I take control of my finances. And it's really important that you come back to our class tomorrow. And accompany me tomorrow at the identical time to two distinct classes. The hyperlinks to the classes will always be transmitted through the WhatsApp groups, all right? And do not forget to click and join the group in order to be a part of it, all right? While team is in chat, they're also putting attendance list link. And remember, today's phrase is buy assets and then liabilities. The key term for today is active. We'll see you shortly. May God bless all of you. Two huge doubts in the banks that wouldn't let me sleep. I couldn't find a way out of it. I spent my time in depression and crying. I was really drowning in debt. I was a person who owed almost $200,000. I had a ton of debts for like 20 years. I was feeling down in the dumps. I started to let go, to leave behind the fears, to leave behind the doubts. I managed to free myself from everything from that heavy and painful burden. I felt calm and confident speaking to the Department of Criteria and presenting them with my payment proposal. I've already paid off all the debts and I almost have this house completely bought. I have enough money now because previously I didn't have enough. I had six investments. Imagine getting rid of a $200,000 debt and on top of that, having something to invest now. It's awesome, thanks a lot. It's a total blessing, and I mean like a really big one, like huge. I'm happy because I'm free.